In this video, you'll see how to use unit rates. Remember, a rate is a ratio that compares different units. So if I have uh, a car and it goes 55 miles on 4 gallons, that's a rate because I'm comparing the miles I go to the gallons of gas it takes. To make a rate a unit rate, I have to make sure that that rate is compared to one unit. So if I have 55 miles in 4 gallons, I want to know how far I go on 1 gallon. Well, to get from 4 gallons to 1 gallon, I divide by 4. And to keep these fractions equal, I have to divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So I also have to take 55 and divide that by 4. Now I know that 4 times 13 is 52. Uh, and then there's 3 left over. So 55 minus 52 is 3. So my answer is going to be 55 divided by 4 is 13 and 3 fourths miles or 13.75 miles. And that is how far one gallon of gas was taking. So again, I took my rate, 55 miles, over 4 gallons, and I divided the numerator and denominator by 4, because that's the number in the denominator, and 4 divided by 4 gives me my 1 in my denominator. We can also use unit rates to help us find better buy. So if I have a choice between uh, different sets of batteries. I don't know what I want with 110 AA batteries, but who knows. Uh, but if I have 30 AA batteries for $10.80 and 110 AA batteries for $33, I want to know which is the better buy. I always find it easier to put the dollar amount on top and the other amount on the bottom. That way I'm figuring out how much it is for one of those batteries. Okay, so ten dollars eighty cents over thirty batteries. And ten dollars eighty cents divided by thirty batteries. Remember I need to take the divide the numerator by thirty and the denominator by thirty. So I have one battery in my denominator. And 1080, $10.80 divided by 30 gives me 36 cents. So in this first case, 30 batteries for $10.80 equates to 36 cents per battery. For my other rate, 110 AA batteries for $33. I want to set it up the same way. I like to put my dollars on top, $33 for 110 batteries. And I'm going to, again, divide the numerator and denominator by 110 because that's in the denominator. And when I divide 110 batteries by 110, I end up with one battery in the denominator, which makes this. So now I take $33 divided by 110. And when I divide those out, I get 30 cents per battery. So the better buy is 110 batteries for $33 because I'm paying 6 cents less for every battery. And that's how you use unit rates to find the better buy.